Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since we've had a video uh, after we started the school year with the FlexMod and thought I'd put another video together to show you how things are going, uh, get a sample of what students and teachers all think of the new schedule, and uh, maybe even show everybody then what it looks like in a typical school day uh, to try and wrap your head around what this system is and how great it is for our students. So, um, hope you enjoy the video. So another couple things about the FlexMod schedule. Um, that are different is our classes don't meet the same time every day. Um, let's say a math class might meet in the morning on Monday and then the afternoon on Tuesday. Um, sometimes even in different rooms. Uh, the reason behind that is we like to stay mobile uh, with our teachers and students but also because it uses our space a little bit better. So if we have a large class um, we can give them the largest classroom instead of trying to make the biggest class fit in the same room all the time. So it gives us some flexibility there. Uh, what that also does then is teachers don't have their own rooms and what I mean by that is uh, in the seven period bell schedule teachers were given their room they taught all their classes and that's where they prepped um, that made it really difficult for teachers they never got conversations with colleagues very rarely uh, maybe in passing at lunchtime or if their preps overlapped um, so we don't have that uh, with the system what we have then is since teachers are teaching in different rooms um, we'll show you what the collaborative workroom looks like where all the teachers will go when they're not on their um, class time and they're not in a resource center teaching so that gives them an opportunity to have the conversations they need to work uh, together to co-teach to plan together to have collaboration just like we want our kids to have uh, we're able to model that for our students um, and I know that the staff uh, wouldn't change it and go back to the old way of sitting in uh, kind of isolation in your own room to do everything so it's been a, a very positive thing for our staff Okay, so what we have here is our staff collaborative work room right now. We have two amazing instructors talking about students and issues they're having and successes. They're not looking at the camera. They, they don't want to be on camera right now. I'm surprising them. But right here is where you'll see all the staff come. And when they're not teaching or on a resource center, they're going to come here to, to prep and plan. Um, it's working out pretty well. Yes? Oh, yeah. Would you ever, would you ever go back to having your own room? Awesome. What's it like to have conversations with fellow teachers here? It's amazing. I was trapped in my room before and other teachers didn't have the same prep as I did to talk to them. Fantastic. And what we also do then is when we ever want to meet with parents that has concern about their son or daughter, we'll bring them up here, sit them at the round table with all the staff around them while other teachers here are prepping and planning and be able to take a look at what we can do to help their son or daughter. So it's a very effective workspace and uh, the staff really love it. So, okay. What are you Another question gets asked is what do the 10th or 12th grade students do when they don't have class? Um, they can go and use their time as they see a fit. So that means they can, you know, make errands up town, they can run home. Uh, predominantly what we see the kids do is they'll use spaces we provided, like the library, some seating areas. Uh, we've actually dedicated our old staff lounge to students. So you'll see them studying, grabbing something to eat, um, using their time wisely, um, going to resource centers to get extra help. They're using their time that they have available. And if we find out that they're struggling academically or behaviorally, behaviorally excuse me, then that's when I come in and I assign those mods that they have open to resource centers and take their time. Uh, works very effectively. This is our student lounge. We have a couple students in here managing their time. Where's the camera, Logan? There we go. So these students are on off mods right now. They're in great standing. They're taking care of their academics. So this room we've converted to them to use to sit and hang out because we don't even need it as staff anymore. And uh, they can use their time wisely as they see fit, whether they're um, managing their studies, getting extra help, um, actually just relaxing and taking a break from school day. Okay, we're in the large group area for classes. Uh, we have no large group going on right now, but we typically have students sitting in here finishing work, or if they're on an off mod and the work's completed, they can hang out. So right now I have some freshmen and I ask the freshmen here, what are some things you guys like about the current schedule and some things you don't like about the current schedule this year? I really like the free time too, but procrastinate like on my AR and 
had to do a lot of reading in the last like three days of the month, last month, so we're going to do better this month. <laughs> I like being able to find teachers if you're going to be gone, that you can find them in the teacher's area upstairs on the third floor to talk to them without running around the building and try and find them. Uh, I like how it seems like the day goes, goes by a lot faster. have more freedom to choose what classes you take and if it overlaps with the other one, you can make that class up on a different day so that way you can still take the class you want to take without it interfering. One thing I didn't like about it at first was um, I got confused, but now it's just getting better. Uh, the 10 through 12 graders, they get to leave on their open mods, but uh, the freshmen don't. <laughs> Even if we're even, like all caught up, but I guess freedom will come next year. Mm -hmm. I don't like how my schedule is so jam packed on Friday and there's so much like resource time throughout the week. I don't know. The thing that I don't like about it is that usually around Fridays I have physical science twice in the same day, and uh, I don't really like having the same class in, twice in the same day, but that's because of the class that I want to take earlier in the week so then that second physical science class gets bumped to Friday because my extracurricular class doesn't have that on Fridays. What I dislike about the FlexMod is that <coughs> every time we have ag we overlap with band and Mrs. Lund is wanting to keep us for an extra mod and we have to leave early because the bus won't pick us up if we don't leave. Thank you, guys. Okay, I have some students here working in the library and we want to know what are some things you like about the schedule this year and some things that maybe you don't like. Some things I like are how I'm able to get so much more work done because I have only five classes I take that I need and I'm able to get a lot more done during my days because sometimes I can get out earlier in classes than others and I'm able to come down to the library and just work on class assignments that need to get done so I have more free time after school to do things. So unlike Shelby, I didn't manage my time very wisely and I found myself in trouble, but then I was able to use resource room times and get back on track, so now I'm right where I should be. Okay, so I think it is very beneficial. However, some days it's overwhelming and I don't know, it gets, it gets easier as the day goes on, but when you have a full schedule one day and you don't get a lunch, that's when I just kind of quit. <laughs> But then I come to the library, work on my stuff when I need to, and yeah. Okay, so I'm taking like eight or nine classes. So like, it's just nice that like, if I don't have a class for two days, I can kind of put that off and work on stuff like for the class I have the next day. So just like having the amount of free time to get my stuff done is really nice. All right, thank you guys. Okay, we're here with some seniors and uh, asking them what are some things they like about this year's FlexMod schedule, some things they don't like, and uh, maybe if they'd ever go back, so. Things you guys like, dislike, and would change. Uh, the mo thing I like most about it is the free time I have because I can kind of like do whatever I want during the day because I know I gotta go to class during a certain time and I can do my homework and kind of like make my schedule a lot more flexible. So if my dad needs help, I can move classes around so I can have a class in the morning and then I have in the afternoon. And then what I don't really like about it is the group projects and meetings because, for example, chemistry class, like I'll have a different group on Wednesday then I will on Thursday so then we can't really do two day labs because we change people and meetings are just hard because it's hard to get everyone on the same page and see like what time works for them. Um, what I like most is being able to use my time how I can or how I want so I can go run errands or I can come in here and do homework or I can go to work so just kind of the flexibility of doing whatever I want is what I like. And what I don't like is, like Lane said, meetings. I don't like waking up at 8 for a meeting if I don't have to. Or 
we have meetings and we can't get everyone there because they have class. And I also don't like how sometimes um, a lot of teachers will tell us to do the assignment in our free time and some students have more free time than others. So it's kind of hard for some people to pay with their schedules. Uh, I like everything pretty much about it that they said. And the only thing I don't really like is when you have just like 20 minutes of just random time and it's not enough to do like anything with it. So that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, and I like the free time too, like they all said, because sometimes I need to go to work or finish up something I didn't get to the day before. If I want to go hunt more, and I can do that. And something I don't like is that random time period where it's like 40 minutes, where if you went home, you'd have to come right back, and you don't have really much time to do anything. You say, say you guys would change and go back then? No. Oh, no. You're happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually really nervous for the change right away, but. I guess everyone normally naturally is like scared of change. Sure. This all came out last year, like, oh god. Like, <laughs> but now that I've kind of gotten used to it, I would say it's probably for the better. It definitely helps kids because it really helps with time management. Like, I've never been really good at time management. It's certainly just do It's weird. <laughs> and, and you guys are figuring it out and doing a great job. So, anything else anybody else wants to share? All right. Even though all Oh, oh. You know what? You're still Even going. We're still going. I don't live in town. Some people say it's not as convenient for the kids that don't live in town because they can't go home in their open lots. But I live 15 miles out of town, and I have no problem with the scheduling at all because just because I can't go home and take a nap, that's actually <laughs> probably better for me because I come in here and do homework. Amen. So really, living out of town doesn't really isn't going to hurt you at all. It's actually going to help you. Exactly. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. So right now we're on route to a large group. Uh, we have three, two different ways that we teach. One is large group where we have total grade levels together for certain classes. Uh, so this one will be algebra, algebra two. And the other one is just the normal small group uh, discussions you have in the normal classroom. So let's take a peek in and see what uh, a large group setting looks like. So as you can see, what the large group allows us to do is have all grade levels together for one day for discussion to maybe discuss differences in labs, uh, main idea projects that are coming up. Um, instead of having two separate sections, we can bring them together once for one day, um, discuss numerous items, give big ticket items for preview of the week or bring all lessons back together uh, at the end of the week. Um, that allows us to have more flexibility than during the times the classes meet throughout the day. So another part we have besides large group and the regular uh, group instruction is we have resource centers. Um, it's a way different take on study halls. What it is is we have grade specific resource centers with teachers in that content area throughout our day and throughout our week. So when we have math resource, there's a math teacher in there. Um, same with English, social studies, and science. Um, all 7th, 8th, and 9th graders are assigned to those. And then 10th through 12th graders have the option to go to those that coincide with their schedule to get help. Or if they're failing or have a D in that class, for that whole week, they're put into resource centers um, during their open mods. And that's what I do on Mondays after we run eligibility. Is I'll sign those students, print a brand new schedule for them, communicate with the teachers in that resource room. So we're ensuring students are getting help that need it. Um, and our students that are on the DNF list is continually going down throughout the course of the year, uh, especially in our 10th through 12th graders when their time is being taken. So it's working very well. And it's also nice that we're able to help students that need it, whereas before we couldn't offer that because it was either before school or after school and with activities and coaching, we were very limited to when we could help students. Uh, now we're giving students those opportunities and having them as they get older, take ownership of their learning to get more help. Another thing we don't have is bells. On the longer year, I have a bell dismissing students. Uh, the teacher will actually dismiss the students. Uh, we allow four minutes of passing time. So coming up here, you'll, you'll see students moving. Um, they're moving throughout the day. But there's no bell, there's no announcements, it's a lot more relaxed atmosphere and we never have all students moving at the same time. Uh, whereas the previous seven period bell schedule every 50 minutes, the whole entire student body was moving together. So it's a lot more relaxed. Um, students, even though they're moving every 20 minutes where some classes are starting, some are ending, um, it's a lot different feel. So we'll show you that here coming up.
we have students leaving right now from, I think it was a resource center where they're getting help with English. I'm um, going to the next class. You notice that not all the doors are open. The hallways are not flooded with students. Um, that class right now is being dismissed at that current time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, that was a lot of information. If you're still with me to the end, congratulations. Uh, you know, it's hard to try and explain everything we're doing um, in a short amount of time. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and maybe get a chance to look a little deeper into what this looks like for a flex mod schedule at Oaks High School through students' eyes, um, teacher perspective, and as a whole. Uh, just to clarify a couple of things, you know, our resource centers are varied throughout the day in different mods uh, with different classes available. Um, also to clarify that our large group instruction would be a grade level per course. So what I mean by that is if we have a large group for Algebra 1, that's going to be all freshmen in Algebra 1. Um, if we have a POD large group, that's going to be all seniors. Um, you know, in English 11 is going to be all juniors in that um, English class together for large group instruction. So um, probably have a lot more questions. Uh, I encourage you to reach out to me at the school through email if you have more questions on you know, what this looks like or if you're interested and want to take a visit, we'd be happy to show you around and, and give you a perspective that way. But hopefully you get a chance to see some of the great things we're doing here at Oaks High School. The benefits this schedule and challenge has been for our students especially. Uh, our staff and community, because um, it's definitely been a challenge jumping in and just figuring things out. But, uh, you know, we believe it's what's best for kids, and uh, we're constantly learning and improving every day. Thanks, everybody.